Are you ready for the next big thing from MTX Audio? Well, stay tuned. Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at our new family of 12 volt amplifiers, the Jackhammer series. Now in this group, we feature five different models with a variety of features and sizes. So let's dive in and take a look. There are a number of common elements and features among the family. So let's take a look at that first. Now, all models in the family feature a smooth powder-coated aluminum heatsink with top-mounted controls. This provides easy access to make adjustments once the amplifiers are mounted in most cases versus those with their controls on the end panels. Wiring and speaker connections are made using angled set screw terminals that help pull in the wire as they're tightened, making for a more secure connection compared to the more traditional vertical terminal. Input connections for RCA cables are found on the opposite end, as well as input configuration adjustments. The Jackhammer series of amplifiers can accept both low-level or RCA type signals, as well as high-level speaker wire input signals. When using a speaker level signal for input, an additional adapter is needed to convert from a bare wire to RCA style connection but you do not need to use a high to low level converter. That conversion is handled in the amplifier. So all you need to do is tell it what type of signal you're using. Now the other common feature is the turn on signal selector, which can be set to use a traditional remote input or for music signal turn on when a remote wire may not be available from the source unit. Now it's time to take a look at the model breakdown. First, let's look at the monoblock amplifiers. There are three models in the family, a 500, 1000, and 1500 watt unit. All feature four gauge power and ground terminals, as well as 12 gauge speaker output connections, and all are one ohm stable. Control features of the amplifier include a variable gain control, a variable low pass crossover adjustable between 40 and 250 Hertz, a variable subsonic crossover adjustable between 20 and 50 hertz, and finally a bass boost circuit adjustable from 0 to 12 dB centered at 45 hertz. Lastly, all monoblock models feature an external bass control to give you remote control of your sub output level. We also feature two multi-channel models in the Jackhammer family, a four channel and a five channel. Let's look at the JH304 four channel first. Now like the monoblock models, you have selectors for both signal input type as well as turn on signal, but also the addition of a two or four channel selector. Now with this control, you can set up the inputs based on how many channels of input signal you have. This then routes the signal to the appropriate output channels. Two channel mode takes signal into the front RCAs and sends it to both to the front and rear outputs, while four channel mode keeps front and rear discrete from one another. The top mount controls include independent gain controls for both front and rear channels, including when in two channel input mode. Selectable crossover switches allow you to configure both front and rear outputs to be full range, low pass or high pass output, and crossover frequency is adjustable between 40 and 250 hertz. Now the amplifier is rated to work at four or two ohms per channel, and both front and rear outputs can be bridged to a four ohm load. The last model in the family is the JH705 five channel unit. Now this amplifier combines both the features of a four channel and mono block into a single chassis. This makes it ideal for running an entire audio system off a single amplifier and beneficial when space may not allow multiple amplifiers to be installed. The unit features front, rear, and subwoofer input connections or can be configured for fewer inputs in the event your source unit may not have this many outputs. Selector buttons on the input panel allow you to change to either a two, 
four or five channel input to match your situation. Top mounting controls allow you to fine tune your sound system with independent gain controls for front, rear and sub channels, variable and selectable full range, high pass or low pass crossovers for front and rear channels, a variable low pass and subsonic filter for the sub channel and a bass boost control as well. Finally, like the monoblock amplifiers, an EBC controller is also included to give you direct output level control over the sub channel. Well, this completes our first look at the new Jackhammer amplifiers by MTX. For more information, go to mtx.com and get all the technical specs on these models. Locate your local dealer and even place an order for your very own Jackhammer amp. Hopefully you got some good information. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to get all the latest details on new products and events. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.